Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I actually had another video planned, but the last video on my channel was me starting The Haunting of Hill House. And honestly, I loved the first episode so much I wanted to watch the second episode. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so excited to continue with this. I really think this is going to be a new favorite of mine. So many of you left comments telling me to look out in the background for ghosts or things that shouldn't be there. So... I'm really not that observant, so I'm very, very glad you guys pointed that out to me. I'm gonna try my best to be on the lookout for that. Also, just a little bit of a disclaimer before we get started, I will be moving within this next month, so my posting is going to be probably pretty spread out considering I am relocating, and if you guys have ever moved before, you know how incredibly annoying <laughs> and stressful and taxing that process is, so I'm gonna try to stay semi-consistent on here, but but probably within the next month or two, you guys are gonna start seeing videos in a new location, which is really exciting. But anyways, not too much more to say besides the fact that Nell is freaking dead. So anyways, let's just get right into it. <gasps> Nellie's in the red room. What did she say? Oh, I don't wanna see what happens. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not going to. For him to be like, what happened? And she's just like, mm, go back to bed, darling. I know grandma's dead, but she still comes to my room at night and she still sits on my bed. Mm, that sounds problematic. Her fingers were purple, she did have teeth, and she did not have hair. How old is this child? God bless. I'm gonna fix her. That's what I do. What an interesting career path for someone who went through whatever happened in that house. We give her a bath. Oh God, that is dark. <laughs> I heard the little slurpy noises. Mm -mm. Just like she's supposed to. For people who have this job, you're the true heroes. House? No. Come here, take a look. Wait a damn minute, I think I saw something. Hold on, I have to go back. I'm just like overthinking it now, I think. Is that Hill House? No. There is someone! Ah, I saw it! Okay, yeah, there's someone in that dark, in a dark dress in that black, in the... I can't even speak because I'm so excited. Okay, in the corner. Because the next scene, she wasn't in it. Yeah. Wow. See, if you guys didn't point that out, I definitely never would have caught that. You don't miss a thing, yes. Then She looks so good, too. She was in Spy Kids. She was the mom, wasn't she? She has not aged at all. Will you please have a tea party with me? Everyone keeps saying no. Sweetheart, I'd love to have a tea. Surely just have a tea party with her. It's very grown up and sophisticated. She is so cute. I will say it every episode. Don't forget the rule. Lights flash, time to come home. Okay, so who's not coming home when the lights flash tonight? Because they made so many mentions of that rule. Someone's gotta break it. Hello. Yeah, that is a castle. Jeez Louise. Why'd I just say geez, Louise? You have any other ideas about that that red door upstairs? Right now, not, not 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 for that one. Liar. Why would you take a photo of that? It sounds like a wounded dog or something. Oh my god. Where's your mommy cat? She couldn't be far. They're so cute. Oh my god, I want a cat so bad. The cutest little thing. Uh, excuse me? What was that? Oh, again? Come here, Cheryl. You gotta see this. See what? It's a wasp nest. Right above some kittens? Built it around this. A Halloween mask. Old one. Of course. Nothing scary at all. You lucky? That is kind of scary. These little kittens don't have a mommy. So are we adopting the kittens because they're about to die? Don't tell me. Especially close to dark like this. Well, we can't just leave them here. I just feel like the cats are doomed regardless. They're either gonna die out there or they're gonna die in the house. You handle the funerals, I handle the books. That was the deal, right? We're doing more than well enough to give a little relief to families who need it it's the most. Not she just wants to help people. A little. Your wife definitely helped, but yeah. Hello, who is that? Without an insurance policy, it's 6,000 a month, and we do recommend. Yeah, we love the expenses. And obviously, <laughs> if 
he had insurance, it would be in the ballpark of what we discussed on the phone. That's so crazy. Sorry, Cheryl. It's fine. I, I mean, I could still you do something. You pay me back when you're a famous writer. What if they're still? It's okay if you're not clean. We just need to know how dirty. That's a weird phrase, but okay. You can do this. Thanks. This is really wholesome, besides the fact that it was so much money for him to be admitted here. Where'd you get those, Allie? At the mall. <clears throat> Practically begged me. She has to be like a cool Aunt Theo. Yeah, I do want to know what's up with the gloves. Solo account, his name's on the checkbook. So, Oof. surprised me. Ask him. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Just bring it up. That's the first step. Imagine the worst thing possible, assume it's true, and go from there. I love Theo. Their eyes aren't open yet, and they need to know it. See? Huh? What do you want? I. Don't even why are you banging on the wall? She was knocked out. I don't know what you were expecting. Shirley. Turn the lights on, maybe. I don't know if that helps, but like it's less creepy in the dark. <laughs> Did anyone hear them? Hey. Hey, what what's with the screaming? Okay, thank God. I believe you. I, I know. Does he though? The hot water pipes. They're old. They can bang, jump in the walls. The perimeter of the room? It's oh. My God. Thanks. This poor woman. She's dead. Shut up. <laughs> what a reaction. He was the last person she talked to before she did it. This poor father, too. Do that again. He can't just not tell us what happened. He can't. Like with their mom. Good morning. I just, I said in the first episode that they didn't have a dog, but I meant no animals. Oh my God, I knew it. Wake up. Stop. All of those cats are going to be buried out there by the end of this episode. <laughs> For them. We're all stories in the end. That's very deep. She's alive. Excuse me? I know this Her is hard. Her lips are moving. I... Don't have the cat be possessed, please. Yeah. Ooh. The trauma. Oh my gosh. Let someone else do it. You need to focus on you. She's my sister. I'm hosting her funeral. That must be really hard. Thought he was in rehab. He was, apparently, until this morning. They said he flew the coop. No idea where he is. So that explains it. Good morning. She kind of is the perfect person for this job, but at the same time, how? How do you do this after everything you've been through in your life? And I haven't even seen the half of it, I'm sure. No. <laughs> Is everything okay? The parallels. Ugh. The cosmetics. And restoration. The coroner ruled it a suicide. Wait, Nell is married? The hours. The bugs. Where's her husband? I'm sorry. I just can't. Sure. I mean, I'm kind of with Theo here. What she does is amazing work, but to do it on someone that you personally knew and loved, that's... That's real brutal. That doesn't even look like her, okay. Are they still sleeping? Are they all dead? Stop. <laughs> what the hell? Steve, do you know what I'm doing right now? Ew. I'm elbow deep in our sister's chest cavity, pulling out a bag of her internal organ. I hate that. Kittens aren't supposed to be without their mommies. I mean, that's true, but I have a feeling it's the house. Just, 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 just quiet. Just, just, it's just, not fair! Just, 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 it's just, not fair! Stop it! <sighs> that's the thing. There was no color at all. It was pitch black. This family is cursed before this house even happened to them. 
Would you have said you had to go to the woods and put this sick little kitten out of its misery? And, and, and now she's traumatized. Her first real brush with death, and now she's... I mean, it's better than you dying being her first encounter. Mm -mm, I really don't want to see that. I'm very curious as to why this is her job. Where is she now? I don't know, Allie. I can tell you what I think, maybe, sometime tomorrow. This is a very mature conversation between adults and children, though. Oh, okay, she's looking more like herself now. You're gonna look amazing. Oh, this is the wedding day stop. He's as happy as I've ever seen a guy. And he should be. How lucky for us, a famous author at your wedding. You promised. Dang, she has such animosity for him. What was that, Luke? You're high. I paid for rehab. Guess who they called when you ran- That's true. She does have a bit of a right there to be really upset about this. I just really want to be here for her. You should have thought about that before you put the needle in your arm. Oof. Here's a hundred. You can shoot up the rest. I don't care. Oh my god. The store's closed. I'm done. I feel so bad. I don't know what is the right thing to do in that situation. Well, definitely not telling him to shoot up the rest. That is not what you say. I know she's just trying to protect her sister, but that was pretty brutal. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired for her. That's what I mean. If she has these visions or whatever you want to call them, why does she do this job? I would go absolutely insane. <laughs> This episode is so emotional. You... You fixed her. No, that's what I do. Mm, okay, so that's where it comes from, I'm guessing then. Oh boy, here we go. No, turn the light back on, please. These stupid jump scares. She's so pretty. Must be so hard for her. I feel like she's taking it harder than anyone right now. What was that? Okay, so that was episode two of The Haunting of Hill House. My biggest question right now is, where is Nell's husband? Is he dead? She seemed like she was alone. She seemed like she was living in the first episode. It looked kind of like a hotel or a motel situation, maybe. It felt off to me. Poor Shirley. It seems like she's the one who sees the most, who feels the most, who just endures the most. The poor woman is traumatized. I love her and Theo's relationship. Where we're probably going to find out why Theo is living in like her little addition by her house. But I think it's really wholesome that she at least is helping Theo out. And that's just who I'm getting Shirley is as a person. It's just someone who gives everything to other people, but like doesn't expect anything in return. But she also has emotions. So for example, like the flashback with Luke coming to Nell's wedding. I don't know. I think she was probably just pretty fed up because she has spent so much money and time and effort to get Luke the treatment and the help that he needs and it's clearly not working. He keeps, you know, relapsing and showed up to Nell's wedding high. Again, I just don't really know how to handle that type of situation. I think she did a good job for the most part, but again, it's just like, you don't say some of the things she said to Luke. I guess I was wrong. I said in the last episode that Steven was going to be the main character. It seems like they're gonna focus on all of the children. I do think I love like Shirley as a character more than Steven overall, but I think I liked his episode better. Maybe just because we were being introduced to everyone and everything that was going on and it was basically just setting the scene for everything. And I really liked that, but this one just had a really somber, sad feeling to it. And even though the first one did a little bit too, this one just felt a lot heavier. I did see one or two ghosts this episode in the background. If I try to focus too much on the background, I'm gonna miss what's mainly going on. So again, if I see a ghost, that's great, but I don't wanna like miss out. <laughs> so focusing on the background is not necessarily at the front of my mind. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time for another video.